At Ukraine's southern front, a reconnaissance team leads us towards Russian lines. We're walking through the trees because they're afraid that we might be spotted from above by Russian drones. That's the way they do their work out here, hidden by the trees. Our destination, a drone team shrouded from the skies. Their mission, find Russian forces and call in artillery strikes. A problem though, on their first flight of the day, Russian countermeasures mess with their drone. They need to switch out parts before the next launch. It's nearly impossible to fight off the Russian jamming signal, the commander says, but we have special devices to combat it. But as the drone launches, it lurches the wrong way, hits the trees. Not clear what causes the malfunction. There's a war within the war here, a high-tech war, a software dogfight in the skies above the battlefield. And a mistake by these drone operators can cost them their lives. Back at base, on a big screen, they scour the first flight's video. The detail's incredible. I mean, you can see exactly where the vehicles are in the trees. The operator, a 24-year-old former news cameraman. So you, you're looking at the Russians, but they can be looking at you when you're in the field. Yeah. How does that feel? No, it's scary. <laughs> How scary? Very scary. Very scary. But you keep doing it. Yeah. Why? Well, because we must do it. Life or death decisions which targets to hit to save his fellow countrymen. He's driving along and he has no idea your drone is following him. Yeah, yeah. No idea. No idea. Previous days when they've avoided Russian countermeasures, they've had better luck. A Russian tank position hit in the past week when they called in an artillery strike as they watched. Who wins these drone wars will help determine who dominates the battle space. And that depends on who has the smartest technology and who has the best traditional frontline skills to hide from it. Nick Robertson, CNN, at Ukraine's southern front.